I had a virus and it attacked my heart. In 2016, Bob Garachi got the news that he would eventually need a heart transplant. The 58-year-old Greenfield machinist waited four years. And then the, I was on the heart list and that came available this year in June, June 3rd to be exact. Right at the height of the pandemic. Yes. I was a little concerned if they were not able to do the surgery. It was the same concern the heart transplant team at Aurora St. Luke's had just a few months earlier. When the pandemic started in March, we were all stepping back to decide what we were going to do. That's when the team put together an aggressive, multi-tiered plan to keep transplant surgeries going, even as the hospital prepared for a possible surge in COVID patients with new procedures to keep heart recipients safe. We couldn't allow patients' families to be there with them, and that was a big, big deal. You know, going through a big procedure like this without having your loved one next to you is obviously a, a, you know, a very difficult step. Despite the pandemic, the number of heart transplants at St. Luke's soared. There were 23 last year, but 39 through the end of August this year, all while some other hospitals paused their transplant programs which had an unexpected impact here. Some of the smaller programs closed for acute transplants. So, in fact, that increased the pool of patients. An increase in patients in a program that had already committed to doing more heart transplants before COVID hit. That's when the pandemic upped the transplant numbers again, but this time due to an unfortunate reason. And I think that having COVID, uh, the pandemic basically allowed us to get access to a lot more donors. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office reports a 25 percent increase in deaths due to COVID and other causes, homicides, suicides and overdoses in particular. And that's led to more availability of donor organs. Yeah, you do have to reflect on that if somebody had to pass away for you to get an organ. And through that record number of transplants amidst a global pandemic, Bob's surgery was a success leaving him with a more safety conscious but enthusiastic outlook on the future. I'm cautious about what I do and I go out and live my life. In Milwaukee, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.